Knight Rider. Who didn't love that show? Kit might be the greatest car of all time. And come on, you know that music still makes you want to drive 20 miles over the speed limit. And then there was... The NES version. Gone is the sweet music. What the crap is that about? Did they not get the license for the song or something? That's like the Speed Racer movie not getting the license to the Speed Racer song. This is not right. Moving on. So let's get our briefing from Devin. Michael, please listen to me. A terrorist group has attacked a U.S. Army's weapon center. Ugh, man. All that matters is that bad people have done something, and the only way to stop them is to bust out a 1982 Pontiac Trans Am. All right, so let's get to the gameplay. Wow, this looks really familiar. Definitely a lot like Rad Racer, but Rad Racer doesn't have kit. Guns, missiles, lasers, and wait for it, yes, kit can jump. So the game is pretty damn difficult, so we'll just skip to the most disappointing part about it. After mowing through the bad guys and eventually discovering that the evil car, yes, car, was behind it, you win and are subjected to one of the worst video game endings in history. If I wanted to read a novel, I wouldn't be playing video games. But then again, if I wanted some Knight Rider, I probably shouldn't be playing this. <laughs> 